ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm now joined by Lilo. How's it going? Hi, I'm good, thank you. Thanks for having me. No, it's lovely to have you on. Uh, are you looking forward to tonight? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really, like, actually honoured to be here. Like, I'm just very excited to do it all, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, so for an amazing cause and everything tonight, it is yeah. the uh, 28th of October that we're recording this, so we've got the event on tonight. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the event tonight? Yeah, so it's kind of supporting the Black Lives Matter movement, um, and they've kind of gathered artists who live all over the country now, but kind of grew up in Hull um, to perform and yeah I'm just so happy that I was asked and yeah. I'm here and yeah I'm very excited to perform <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's all, all for a great cause um, so are you, are you used to doing things like this now? Uh, yeah so well I grew up in Hull and I went to White College oh, right, okay. yeah and then after that I moved well there was the lockdown everything but I live in London now been right. there for about three months um, I moved there like full time for music to perform so mm-hmm. since I've been there I've been gigging about about three or four gigs a week um so yeah i literally i've done this is my, my fourth gig in a row tonight oh, so wow. yeah, yeah so it's really quite intense at the moment <laughs> is that, well, everyone that spoke it. to already it's just non-stop it's, it's the grind yeah. isn't it yeah it really is yeah you can't really do too much unless you lose your voice <laughs> yeah, oh yeah that's a good point yeah. on the cough sweets all the time yeah then. literally i have so much honey yeah. <laughs> yeah. so what, what's it like uh, being in london compared to living in hull at the start um it's I mean, because it's so much bigger, it's like there's always a, there's so always something going on, yeah. which is great. Um, I love Hull though, and I'm obviously because I've grown up here. It's like my comfort zone. So sometimes being in London, it can be a bit scary. Mm-hmm. But there's there's so many people, and they're all really nice. So there's a whole stereotype I feel like in like London, like in the south, people aren't as friendly. But everyone's right. been so friendly. So I feel like I've like I've, I've fit in there really well. And oh, that's yeah, really good then, it's yeah. going well. So what's because uh, obviously we're based in Hull at Hull yes. Uni with Jam Radio. What's uh, your favourite spot in Hull? Uh, Thieving Harry's. Really? Yeah, I love the food there. I, I yeah, I go, whenever I'm up, I go for brunches there all the time. Yeah. yeah, it was so sad when it was shut and locked down. Yeah, yeah, I missed it. <laughs> is that, so is that your number one thing, top priority that you miss? Yeah, well, I I miss my friends. Oh, that yeah, I've grown yeah, up yeah. with, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's also, there's a pl- I love coffee. I'm okay. like a real coffee addict. And I love Two Gingers. It's like in the arcade near oh, the yeah, City yeah. Hall. Yeah, I love it there. And oh my God, it's the best coffee. Because in London, I try all the coffee. Mm-hmm. And I actually haven't found somewhere that beats Two That's Gingers. better than Two yeah, Gingers. I haven't. So you're hearing it here first, guys. Everyone get to Two Gingers. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> so how, how did you uh, get started uh, with all of this with music? So when I was 17 and I was at Wyke, I was studying my and economics and uh, Spanish and music technology right. and I always did piano since I was like four and I always enjoyed piano but I kind of thought being a musician was a bit unrealistic just because mm-hmm. I didn't know a soul in the industry and obviously I, I just didn't know how to get started but then through the white sesh I got the chance to perform in front of people for the first time so I did that and I got a good response so I was like oh okay well that was really fun um, and I actually started some singing lessons um, as well as my piano lessons at white and I really kind of got addicted to it and then I, I was waiting for the next Friday to, to perform again and then I uh, applied to go to Leeds College of Music mm-hmm. and I got in so that was amazing yeah. so I went there and even though the people were amazing and there's great opportunities and stuff just for me personally the course didn't fit what I wanted to do right so I I left there and then I moved to London um, the pandemic hit so I moved back home yeah. <laughs> but um <laughs> but, spanner in the works a bit yeah, yeah a bit yeah but um yeah really since I finished my A levels my head has been on it full time mm-hmm. so yeah like three years now well it, uh, you've definitely got the passion for it you've definitely got the book for it and if with things like that if you put if you put enough time and effort into it it's, it's bound to happen isn't it yeah I, I hope so if you yeah. your cards right <laughs> so you've, you've just uh, released a new song haven't you yeah so I've been releasing songs for a year and my latest one's called Everything I Ever Dreamed Of mm-hmm. um, and I work with a producer who's based in London who I met it's like a long chain of people like someone knows someone who knows someone who knows someone yeah, and that's yeah. how I met the producer um, Patrick Byrne he's amazing um, but yeah I mean sorry what was your question I've just lost my train of thought your new single oh my new single yeah, yeah the most obvious thing <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so good, so good. <laughs> everything you ever dreamed of yeah yes yeah, so that came out on Friday and that's kind of like an 80s like soundscape kind of sound right, which okay. I really like yeah and is that is that normally what you go for is that just a bit different um I feel like I've been trying to find my sound mm-hmm. and I think I had like a vision of it but I didn't like it didn't actually like come into fruition for mm. quite a, quite a while and then in, it's been the past kind of 
four or five months. I've worked my producer and now I feel like I've got a lineup of tracks that I'm going to be releasing like one a month from now. Um, this was the first one, I like this next batch, and I feel like they really like the sound I want, so right. it's exciting. So you've just been trying all these different avenues with it, and you finally found something that you yeah. think works for you, and amazing. So yeah. it's, it's all exciting stuff, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's an exciting time right now. So we've, we've been in London now. You said you've got mm-hmm. songs coming out over the next few months. Yeah. What's what's then the plans after that? What's the long long term goals with this? Long term plan. So the so my dream goal, and it sounds a bit ridiculous, but I want to headline a world tour. Really? I really oh, do. Man, that's so cool. That's like always like since for as long as I can remember, that's like my dream. And mm. then now I, when I was seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, now I'm twenty one. I I was like, well, every year. I'm, it's not like I'm getting a lot closer, but I'm taking tiny, tiny steps towards it. Closer. So I'm still moving that, that way. Yeah. No, yeah, it <laughs> so, yeah, is. I just want to keep going and see where it ends up. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's just like I, I heard something the other day, and it was like you were always building a wall with your goals, and it doesn't right. matter how many bricks you're putting on, you're putting bricks on. Yeah. So it doesn't matter yeah. how, how slow the process is, you, you're making your way towards it. Yeah, exactly. No, I think the same. As long as you're not moving sideways or backwards, exactly, yeah. if you're going forwards, you're going forwards. You're doing something right. Yeah. Exactly. So what, what's so far been a career highlight of yours? I played at the Bedford um, on Tuesday, which is a, a famous venue in London. Right. Um, like the likes of like Ed Sheeran have played there, and oh, like wow, before yeah. they were famous, before they made it, they used to play there, and they they loved the venue. Um, so I kind of spoke to the guy. I was like, "Any chance I can get a slot?" And he listened to my stuff. He was like, "Yeah, sure, come along." So I did that on um, there two days ago, and it was the best gig of my life. And I had a great reaction, and the audience they were they really listened, and you, it was really nice because. I do a lot of open mics in between booked gigs and everyone's always lovely but sometimes it's like you, you're, you're kind of, you're there and you just want to do your one song and then they move on and stuff. But at the Bedford, it's like, you're really treated so well, you're respected yeah. and it's just, it's a really, really nice time and the, these like, sound is incredible because the whole thing's like a circle. Right, So okay. the sound all, like, like reverberates into itself. Like, it's, it's amazing, yeah. Oh, I, bet that, I bet that was so cool to be a part of. Yeah, it was so fun. I literally remember it forever. Yeah, yeah. It's defi- that, that definitely sounds like one of those career highlight moments. Then. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank, thank you very much for coming on. It's been lovely speaking to you. Um, thank and wh- you. Where can we find you on social media? And So, yeah, so I'm on Instagram all the time. Mm-hmm. So I post about all my gigs and stuff and new music, and that's Lilo's Music. So it's L-I-L-O-S Music. Mm-hmm. And then on Spotify, Apple Music, everything, I'm Lilo, which is L-I-L-O. Um, but the easiest way to find me is, like, you type in one of my songs. So, like, Horses Make Me Cry mm-hmm. by Lilo. If you type that in, I'll pop straight up. So Amazing. Yeah, yeah get searching, guys. Give it a listen. And yeah. we are going to um, play one of your songs straight after this. So ah. thank you very much for coming on, and good luck tonight. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Anytime.